Hello guys and welcome to a new Warner video today by me Vulcan. In this one I have for you another of the single player operations. This one is Gota Damarong. Screening the southern flank of the Warsaw Pact's thrust into Sentag territory, the East German 11th Modschutzen Division found itself dangerously overextended on Bundesstrasse 22. Blocked near Erbach by NATO, it suffered heavy losses and was forced to turn back. Pursued by the US 1st Armoured Division and Bundeswehr 12th Panzer Division, the East German withdrawal to Bamberg threatened to descend into a chaotic rout. To give its parent division a chance to reorganise, the Modschutzen Regiment MSR 17 was tasked with defending the approaches to Bamberg. Having wrestled the strategic city from NATO only a few days earlier, the 11th Modschutzen Division would not give up the medieval Bavarian town without a fight. As the rearguard, the regiment's 1st Battalion took to the valley of Stegorach to organise a hasty forward defence. We're going to, of course, go in with elite difficulty. Let's read the operational overview. So, Commando Landstreet Krafter, Militär Bezirk 3, 3 Army Leipzig, 24th of June 1989. 11.15 UTC. Order 569.848. With our advance on Erbach beaten back, even the successful tactical relocation to the recently captured Bamberg is far from assured. With the southern flank of our strategic offensive in danger of being pinched off, we need to reorganise. Our intention is to protect the 11th Mutschutzen Division by giving it time to reinforce Bamberg. Your mission is to conduct a rearguard defence in the valley near Stegerach, 4 kilometres west of Bamberg. Hold your positions for as long as possible. 3. Heavy enemy forces have been following us from Erbach, including the US 1st Cavalry Squadron, as well as the 54th Mechanised Battalion from 1st Armoured Division and Bundeswehr 12th Panzer Division. 4. Forces available include... A HQ and two companies of motorized infantry from the one tack MSR 17, an anti tank company, and air support. Let's proceed. So, our units at our disposal include some Shilkers, Strellas, we've got some artillery in here. That's a 30 mil grenade launcher. We've got the Mudschutzen with the Metis launcher, some BRDM recon. There's Mutschutzen in BTRs, as well as Fargo ATGMs. There's some mortars in there as well. Looks like plenty of those. Uh, then we have some AT guns. The MT-12 AT guns. The Conkers there as well. Could be pretty useful. And our aircraft include the MI-24P, two SU-22 with AT, and one with Cluster. Let's launch the mission. Genosse Kommandant, die Lage ist ernst. Wir haben es nicht geschafft, den NATO-Gegenangriff in Erbach aufzuhalten und müssen nun unsere Verteidigung in Bamberg neu formieren. Dieser Pass führt direkt nach Bamberg. Wir müssen ihn halten, bis das Regiment seine Verteidigung aufgebaut hat. Wir vermuten, dass die Hauptoffensive des Feindes von Norden her auf den Pass zukommen wird. Wir haben drei Verteidigungspositionen flussaufwärts eingerichtet. Benutzen Sie diese, um den feindlichen Vormarsch zu verzögern und ziehen Sie sich nur als letztes Mittel über den Pass zurück. And here we are. We got to hold four points. We got the warehouses there, the commercial zone and the industrial zone. And this is the main objective. Hold Anna for 20 minutes or the mission will fail. And it looks like if we hold the other zones we get three points per second as well. So your mission is to create an in-depth defense of Anna. You can deploy in this zone, but also on the three outlying defensive positions, use them to delay an attack on Anna. You hold these zones from the start, but remember if the enemy pushes you out of a defensive zone, it is permanently lost. Okay, let's get some defenses down. I'm probably 
gonna drop the shulker somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. I think I'll probably put it at the top because then if helicopters come in from the right or the left, it can just zoom down these roads and join either side. I will probably put some man pads in here at least. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll just spread them out a little bit. And uh, same on this side. Have them on the back too there. I'm gonna need supply in these areas. So we'll just tuck them in behind the buildings. Uh, they're gonna come down that road, so that's fine. Uh, I assume they're gonna come down this road. It looks like they might come around here as well. And they're coming in from over here. They'll either come up over here or through there, which would actually be kind of annoying. Uh, we'll see. Let's tuck in a Ural there. We'll keep the Shulka further back just in case. I'll just tell it to move in there after the start. Okay, the other thing I need is Recon. Uh, we do need some Recon. I can actually place the Recon technically anywhere. Uh, I might just place it in here and have that unload. We'll pop some... I don't know where to put it here, maybe it, there. And then on this side, maybe, maybe here would be good, as long as it doesn't get spotted. We'll see. I do have AT guns, don't I? AT guns are actually really good now, but we'll definitely use AT, uh, like H gems. I think we're going to go with an HGM there. I might drop an HGM like down here. And uh, we're going to need one here somewhere. Like this road is really awkward to defend. I don't know where to, to put stuff to defend it. I could maybe try and get something into this building. Like hold a little bit further up. If I had an HGM in that building, we could just cover the road from further back. Like I almost want to get rid of some of these Strela 2Ms, but I'm really not sure <laughs> if there's going to be that many AT guns. Well, not AT guns, um, <laughs> helicopters, sorry. All right, um, so we'll do that. I'm going to pop in an AT gun here as well. And I'm going to have a Mutschutzen maybe come down and sit in these trees, I think. That Ural's probably going to want to go in the trees as well. On this right-hand side, I really need more here. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of... One of the strellas on each side. So I definitely need more over here. I think we're going to do an AT gun. We'll just have those unload. Uh, we might as well move the Ural over here. Alright, and I'll just reinforce them as quickly as possible. But the top side is actually looking pretty weak as well. If like any infantry comes in here, I'm so screwed. All right, we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to rush some Mutschutz into all of these sectors. Let's go. What's the worst that can happen, right? Once things have unloaded, we'll sell the UAZs. That way I can purchase some other reinforcements. Uh, I'm going to move this UAZ down here actually so that we can potentially see stuff coming down the road next to the Fargo. Alright, there is an H1F there. Looks like elsewhere we're okay. We'll move this UAZ down. Move those forwards. Oh, that's quite a lot of stuff coming in. I 
Okay. Reinforcements, please. Munchitsen. We've got two Munchitsen heading up there. I can't allow that to shoot. My. Ooh. It's really bad. Okay, well, we shot that down. That's good. Move this Fargo up. No, not the Shilka. Whew. Lucky, 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 lucky. What is that? <laughs> Commands just driving through. Okay, let's bring in the MI24 then. I think I need like an AT gun or something up here. Leopard coming down on the bottom side. Alright, let's just move the AT gun down there. That's a lot of stuff coming in actually. Maybe I move the MI-24 over there. They can see that as well. Okay, that's not good. It's really not good. It's going to die very quickly. <laughs> Why is that behind me? <laughs> right, now we're going to move that to the top. And I'm going to need another couple ace gems here, I think. We'll bring in more infantry over there. This right side seems okay. And these leopards, they are chilling for now. It's fine. I'm going to bring in another supply truck on that top side. On this side, it seems like everything's coming up this road and just getting absolutely annihilated, and we're keeping things resupplied there, which is good. I'm concerned about this blob. The looks is spotting things. I need the cluster SU-22 really to take care of things. If I get the mod should send next to them, or the RPG should get the job done. Uh, we're gonna go deep with the mod should send. At close range, should be able to get the job done. I'm gonna sit this MI-24 here so it can max range AT GM. Still saving for the SU-22 cluster. On this side, we're still looking good. That's not good. I can take out the Gepard actually, that would be a big win. Because the MI-24 would just annihilate all of the Leopards. I'm going to try and somewhat keep my distance here, break these down. Alright, 
cost the time. Hopefully at least one of them survives. Unfortunate. Alright, we're gonna get this Ural to move back. I see you actually got shot down. It looks like the left side's gonna go. And maybe my Avcala can save the day. We shall see. My Fargo there actually got killed off. On the right side, things are just burning, but everywhere else. Quite hectic. I will set up another defense further back. Just getting those rockets reloaded. Actually, we'll just let that stay on the ground for the time being. Hopefully the HGM can hit the Gepard. There we go, now we can take off again. <laughs> well done. Nice, the Avcada actually did its job. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Okay, let's get the SPWs out of the way. Mutschutz and get them into cover. Uh, we will move the MI-24 up. Maybe we can hold all three. That would be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? We've got 11 minutes left. It's pretty close, to be honest. Reload the Alf cover so they can move forwards and help as well. Good. Very good. Alright, let's move the Yodel into position to resupply those. And we'll bring up some more of that. Again, right side's looking good. I might add another AT gun on that side. But other than that, it's mainly up here that we need to keep an eye on. I don't want to be in line of sight of the Bradley. Like that's the main thing I'm trying to avoid. Uh, with the Shilka, that is. Go on, Afkada. I believe. On this side, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, 10 minutes left. I wonder if I'm going to get debated like the last one. It's like, oh, you've held for 20 minutes, now you've got to hold for another 20 minutes. <laughs> Jokes on you. <laughs> Since there's cobras and stuff coming up here all the time, I'm going to bring Estrella. Hopefully that can get away. Oh, 
I want to bring up a Euro for the Mochitsun. Uh, there is another AT gun that's going to unload there. Oh, we do need another supply truck on this side. Nice, the Mochitsun survived. That's good. Okay, perfect. Look at that, we got the uh, massive AT gun here, firing its AT gems down the road. Shilka in cover, ready to take down the H1Fs for us. Zoom in. Give us some cinematic shots of the Americans getting absolutely toasted again. Oh dear. Oof. Managed to get just out of plan of sight in time. I need an AT, AT weapon there, really. I things have calmed down finally on this left side. There were so many leopards that came in all at the same time. Oh, those AT guns sound meaty when they fire. Very good. <laughs> An absolute carnage. All of the P bads and M120 or M150s just don't stand a chance. I could very much do with another unit in that building with the Mudshots in there. I actually have the Mudshots in Meta, so I should use those. The other thing I can potentially do is bring in a leader. Increase the effectiveness. I really need to kill the Gepard, that is the most important thing to kill here. The recon is also a good kill. Gonna have to defend much longer. Okay, good. Very good. Yeah, we are just about holding the warehouses. Just about. Beautiful. Oh, there goes the chill cut. And did the Strada die as well? I think it did. 
That's not good. It's really not good. I'm gonna have to get, commit an SU-22 to go shoot that down, I think. So it looks like I only needed AA on the top side in the end. I bear that in mind if you're gonna play the mission yourself, if you haven't already. We have three minutes remaining on the clock. Quite a lot of points to spare now. I'll just reinforce this left side with more Modschutzen. Probably reinforce the top side with more Modschutzen as well, to be honest. Right side's fine as long as it's got supply. And the thing is with these AT guns is they have a lot of ammunition, which is really nice. A solid defensive mission so far. Keeping the SU-22 hanging about just in case another helicopter shows itself. Just checking. Yep, there is an H1F just come in. I'll try and take that out. Didn't have the right angle to get the main gun on target, but the Strellas are almost there. Really gotta hope these hit. <laughs> They're so inaccurate. Finally. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep these mudshits in all together at close range. And once they die, we can use the Yodel to resupply them. Okay, good. Uh, let's just put one in there, one in there. SPWs can move back a bit. No point in losing them unnecessarily. There wasn't really any infantry though. That is it. There we go. The Blücher Order. Very nice. There we go. Planet of the Gods achievement <laughs> as well. A masterful defense. Genus Commandant. Bamberg is safe. We have shown our allies and enemies alike the hardy fighting spirit of the National Volks Army. Volks Army. 8,325 kills, 3,425 losses. I really lost that much. I guess uh, we did lose our AA, but check out that AT again doing the job there. The Shulka saving the top side completely. I probably should have reinforced with some more man pads earlier. 
Fargo going crazy. The MI24P actually got quite a lot of kills. We did have my AT plane killed, the cluster plane. Looks like I lost a few infantry there. We did lose a couple of AT guns. I don't know if that quite adds up to 3,000. And so many kills, 3,425 kills, but there we go. Most kills goes to the pack half with 1,730 kills. Very, very nice. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. A uh, defensive mission went very well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.